Oh yes, the mess is real, my friends. And don't worry, this is not a mess that has built up over weeks and months and years. This is simply, hey, the toddler was in his high chair, having lunch, looking at books. Now he's gone off for a nap, and it's cleanup time. Welcome back again today, friends. I am doing a huge, super duper, <laughs> deep clean with me and cook with me. I am so glad you are here to watch me tackle this mess and turn it back into a clean and tidy home. There's nothing too spectacular happening here other than real life messes. Yep. They happen, and we are picking them up today. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Use code LARGEFAMILYTABLE10 to get 10 free meals, including shipping, with HelloFresh. Click the first link in the description below. Pans in the sink. What in the world? Do people live here or something? <laughs> There's a bowl of goodies for our chickens. Mysterious Nutrigrain bar there on the counter. Okay, so now... This mama's just gonna get to it. Nap time has arrived and it's super duper cleanup time. So the first thing I'm doing is just getting all the random kid things off the floor. Also our futon there has seen better days. I always get the question, where are your children? Why aren't they helping you? Why isn't your husband helping you? Where are these people? And I certainly understand that because you only get to see me. So my husband has some kiddos out at music lessons right now. As I mentioned, toddler is napping. Other kiddos are doing other jobs around the house and the property that they have been assigned during this time. And I'm obviously attacking my baseboards. Look at that. Now those baseboards, those are several weeks of needing wiping right there. That's from moving the couch. Let me know how often do you guys move your couch and clean under it and behind it. That would be interesting to see in the comments for today. You can tell this needed to be done and I'm just using lots of bleach wipes wiping things down today. Oh yeah, hands and knees mama, hands and knees. <laughs> And this is what was under our couch. We have a variety of sweatshirts, some cups, some paper bags. Amelia was making puppets, so I think those were, paper bags were lingering from that. And now I'm getting this cover on and then I realize, wait a minute, I have a prettier quilt I have bought for that futon. So I'm gonna, I had Liam bring that down for me and I'm getting that on there. I like how it's just the, the teal, it's a nice little pop of color there. I'm wiping down our tables. I use that little table a lot to stack all my homeschool read-alouds on. I'm wiping down the Ikea high chair with a bleach wipe. Wiping down the little top seat. Now I'm picking through this pile. So the laundry will go back in the laundry. Any little water bottles and things that have found their way under the couch, they're gonna go in the sink. And the trash will go in the trash. Now I'm gonna wipe off these chairs. So my little review, these white chairs that we got at Ikea last summer, they have been holding up fantastically and we had actually, up to this point, decided to not cut them down any shorter. We had thought about cutting them down. Actually, several YouTube viewers suggested that that was a good option and I thought, well, we could. We could take a few inches off. See the little grubbies there on the wipe? <laughs> but so far, we just tried them out at their height and it just worked well. So we decided, well, for now, we can always cut them a little shorter later. So we do get lots of little fingerprints and yogurt spills and happenings on those white chairs. So either I or one of the kiddos I will have take either a warm soapy washcloth or some bleach wipes there. <laughs> I see Liam in the background still hauling things around, cleaning up. And anyway, we get these chairs wiped off and fresh. And hey, I'm liking that flannel top that I got at Costco a year or two ago. I wish I would have got more. Okay, yes, that's the rim around the corner of our countertop there where those chairs set were lots of kids set so that needed scrubbed off as well deep cleaning for all of it I'm also wiping down the wall by where lots of kiddos set now putting their, those chairs back we have our PlayStation 4 and a little portable TV there on that uh, little 
TV stand on wheels. That's helpful because when kids do get some tech time, we can push it from room to room. Now I'm just wiping down my windows well. All the little fingerprints, which I am blessed to have. Weather wasn't too bad on this day, so it was a good day to get some outside windows done too. Now I'm going to start processing some other random things I had picked up. Having kiddos take different things. That's Daniel's little box of Legos from his toy box upstairs to put up. It's fun as they grow into that heavy Lego stage. Now this floor. So we steam mop our floors usually once a week and I'm showing you here it just definitely needs to be done. These floors are a fantastic pattern though because you can't see the mess as quickly and I appreciate that floors but we are going to get them steam mopped as well. Right now I'm just trying to get a good sweeping in. Now this is not a, a buildup of messes over weeks and days here for the sweeping. This is just from the morning. The morning with a household that's a busy household full of children in life. There you go. That's our morning morning kitchen mess. Oh my. Oh, oh my. That is the mess from behind the trash can. I'm going to give that a big vinegar spray and I've got a clean and scrub brush. Obviously do this gently if you're using it on your wall or the side of your fridge as I am. But yeah, some messes just take a, a funky cleaning spoon or a little metal scrub brush to get off. There you go. There's a spoon. So spoon for you. There we go, wiping down some pictures in the clock, cleaning off our door more. Okay, now cleaning off my countertop. Woo! Getting the countertop cleaned off, the stovetop, all the buttons. I've been handling the stovetop pretty well so far. That's just my range hood there. Now that's the, the countertop where we've had some meals already today. Okay, so now all the cooking that I do, all the cooking videos I do, this oven needs some cleaning. So I preheat my oven to 200 degrees. I take out my little racks there. Then I use some oven spray, turn my fans on, and then let that set for about 10 minutes or so, and then I came back. But after that 10 minute wait or so, whatever the bottle said, those are the directions I followed. Got all that mess out of my oven. Look at that. Just so many cooking adventures going on, but that's okay. <laughs> Looks like Oreo cookies, if only it was. So I just gathered up the chunks there, put them on my platter, pitched them, got everything back in. Uh, now it's microwave time, so I like to spray my microwave down with my vinegar spray. Then I usually turn my microwave on for about 30 seconds. Open the door back up, give everything a good wiping down, and it comes right off. Here we are, got all kinds of yummy boxes from HelloFresh. Oh, even some upside down, that's okay, we don't care. Gonna make something good for dinner tonight. So I'm just gonna set it all out and organize it. I like to do that so I see what I have and I see what I have to work with. Break out of your dinner rut with HelloFresh's 22 plus seasonal and chef curated recipes each week. I know this mama appreciates it. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick recipe options. Okay, and then I realize I need my favorite new pan. Remember, I went and bought that, replaced my funky old pan, got my new pan from Bed Bath & Beyond, but we did eggs in it this morning. And I needed to wash that out so I could use it to make up a yummy HelloFresh dinner. On this evening, I did both the Juicy Lucy Burgers, which are fantastic. Those are the ones stuffed with cheese, yum. And I also do their incredible pork tacos. I wanted to make extra so that we would have dinner tonight and also meals for the following day. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less food waste. 
And remember, you can always easily change your delivery days or food preferences, or you can even skip a week whenever you need. Now I'm working on getting those hamburger patties going. HelloFresh is now from $5.66 per serving, and HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. And these are shoved with cheddar. We've done some that have been filled with pepper jack cheese, too. I'm doing two different recipes. I'm also working on softening my vegetables and getting the spices in for the tacos. Now I'm squeezing the limes in for the salsa. Then I put the rest of the limes, the rinds there in the chicken bowl. Use promo code LARGEFAMILYTABLE10 to get 10 free meals, including shipping with HelloFresh. Purchase required. Be sure to click the first link in the description below. Now I'm going to make up tacos for those who want tacos. Oh, there's somebody's burger. Burgers for those who want burgers. Then tomorrow this will be lunch. And I'm having no problem shoving that taco in my face. We'll work for tacos. Mmm, very yum. Okay, next morning. My floors have been steamed and I didn't do it. Thank you, teenager who, yep. Oh, wow, look at that action. Before and after. Like I say, these floors really disguise it, but it was super grubby, and they are so fresh after, and I appreciate that. I do have a towel on my floor <laughs> because I plan to clean out that refrigerator, and we had some, just like some ice cubes that had fallen on the floor and melted, so a lot of times when I'm cleaning or doing a lot of cooking, I'll just put a little kitchen towel or a bath towel on the floor to help me out. Now, here I am making some more vinegar spray. That usually ends up being about a fourth of a bottle of vinegar and the rest water. Sometimes a third, not an exact science, just like anything I do. Pretty good at eyeballing. Got some real good wild mama hair don't care on this morning. Now I'm going through, chopping up. I had found a bag of lemons in my refrigerator that we just didn't get to quite in time. And I always love to give extra goodies to our chickens, so I'm just cutting them in half. Then I'll have a kiddo, oh my, take them out and give them to the chickens. Now I better talk about this refrigerator. So it's jam packed, weeks and weeks of recipe development and filming and feeding my family and all that goes on here at the Stewart house. I just decided the only way to get a handle on it is take everything out, deep clean it, scrub everything. I end up, I was thinking about this. Now how often do I totally clean up my refrigerator? Usually on a monthly basis, I do a quick wipe down but actually pulling everything out and washing the little drawers and shelves and everything in hot soapy water, I probably do that about twice a year. Let us know in the comments below also how often do you totally empty your refrigerator and hot soapy water clean it all out? That would be interesting to know. I know I definitely don't go that deep monthly, but I'm sure there's mamas who do. So that'll be fun to chat about. I'm just pulling it all out. I also found some things in there that were doubles or triples that really needed to go to one of our outside refrigerators. That was just from kiddos putting various things away. So I was also making a pile of things that could just go outside. I try to keep the things I need uh, quickly and more most often in my house refrigerator. And then our extras, like almond milk, for instance. I think I found three unopened almond milks in this household refrigerator. And I thought, no, no, no. Oh, yes, look at that grub. I was using my wooden spoon to help with my little short little short legs. Oh, yes, there's where something had spilled. Got some interesting, there's just all kinds of funk that you're going to see in this. Funky, funky, time to clean out this refrigerator. Got a Lego? Hmm. Life with boys. Let me know the craziest thing you have ever found in your refrigerator. 
I will say I had a I shared a picture on Instagram it's probably been five years ago now I opened my refrigerator one day and there was a Buzz Lightyear just laying there on a on a loaf of bread like a big Buzz Lightyear toy and I thought okay I don't know the story with this one but uh, I thought that was pretty funny I guess that's been the craziest most unexpected thing I have found in my refrigerator although we are going to find some more interesting things here soon oh and the yogurt drawer yes so I'm going through right now since it's been several months since I've gone this deep with a this deep of a cleaning here I'm just spraying everything I can down with vinegar spray it's not gonna hurt anything even though I am gonna go ahead and just take everything out but I thought the soaking vinegar will only help. Now, I don't know if I show it or not at this moment, but I do lay bath towels out on the floor and I'm laying all of these glass shelves and pieces on top of those bath towels so I can take turns washing everything. I was having trouble getting my little shelves out on the left side, but look, little Legos have been plopped under the yogurt drawer. How fun is that? Yes, and then just various various things around the fridge. Whole thing needs sprayed with vinegar and cleaned out, that's for sure. Now this refrigerator has been working fantastic for us. We are hard on it. We've had it for a year and a half now. And it hasn't done us wrong, so that's amazing. Now I'm just gonna pick up these Legos. Now I have a rule, I made this rule back when my oldest son was young and just getting into Legos. I decided I would never throw a Lego away. So I get those Legos, I soak them, and then they go back into our Lego collection. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on washing out every possible little drawer and shelf with some hot soapy water, rinsing it out. Some little shelves just needed a rinse and some, as you see, need a scrubbing. Also, of course, my sink is full, my counters are full. So I'm kinda doing this in very limited space here. New $79 faucet, you have made my life easier. And I am thankful I could write a poem to the faucet. <laughs> Working on scrubbing and getting just, looks like different, various spilled things. Sometimes you know when something spills, sometimes you don't. Okay, now I'm getting to my bigger shelves. I just have some dish soap that I've, since it's always concentrated anyway, I just dilute it with water. Keep that in a little soap dispenser up on the sink and I find myself using that during different hand washings at different times during the day. Okay, now the big the big shelf needed lots of scrubbing. We're getting it, we're getting it. I sh did share a picture on in my Insta stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should, because you would have seen this behind the scenes footage a few weeks ago. <laughs> but I shared a f um, s some pictures in my Insta stories of how I had my camera rigged up. Super professional here, so I could get these overhead shots. I had my tripod up on my refrigerator doors. Only the best, only the best. The more I watch this, the more I think, oh my goodness, hair root view from the sky. That's all I wanna talk about now. What in the world? <laughs> That's about four weeks of growth there. Don't worry, the roots have since been done. Time to do it all again. I filmed a fantastic video last time. I cannot wait for you all to see it. I film with the hair color sitting on my hair. And I film, oh, I just, I can't, I won't tell you anymore, but be on the lookout. It's a, a work at home mom Q&A video I've been working on filming. And uh, I did a bunch of it there at the hair salon. I think you'll love it. So that'll be coming out soon. Makes me laugh just thinking about it. I enjoy this film and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Okay, getting that refrigerator. Oh, oh, it's all sparkly clean. Yay, so now to put it all back in. There we go. Certainly better than it was, that's for sure.
Remember, go to HelloFresh.com and use special code LARGEFAMILYTABLE10 to get 10 free meals, including shipping, with HelloFresh. Purchase required. Remember, click the first link in the description below. Thank you for watching my super duper large family cleaning today. I will talk with you in those comments below. Bye-bye. <laughs>